The Seahawks have been taking a lot of grief with their O-line over the last 10 years. But with big signings and young players already on their roster, Seattle's O-line looks to be making big strides in 2019. Going into the 2018 season, Seattle's O-line was a big question mark. They had no steady starters at right or left guard. Right tackle Jermaine Fetty finished his first two years in the league with the most false starts and holding penalties. Seattle acquired Pro Bowl left tackle Dwayne Brown from Houston the previous year, but were unable to get him going because of injuries. Center Justin Britt was their only bright spot on their O-line over the past two seasons. They were the worst O-line the previous season, and finished dead last in pass protection and rushing. Going into the 2018 season, Seattle hired new O-line coach Mike Solari and former Seahawks guard J.R. Sweezy and former Giants starter guard DJ Fluker. The first two weeks of the 2018 season, they were unable to pass protect or run the ball. Going into week three, Coach Solari said that they were getting too technical and they needed to get back to the basics. They would go on from there to have a 100 yard rusher for the rest of the season and would leave the league 160 yards rushing per game. Over this offseason, Seattle saw J.R. Sweezy leave for Arizona and free agency. But Seattle was able to get Arizona's Pro Bowl guard Mike Chipotle and re-sign DJ Fluker. Seattle also has improving talent in guards Jordan Simmons and Ethan Posick. After big upgrades, Seattle's O-line looks to take a big step further in 2019. Do you think Seattle's O-line will be better in 2019? Please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified. Thanks.